guys, welcome back to another Let's Draw. And today we are going to be making some Roblox self portraits. So this one here is two dimensional, which means the character is flat. We don't see it from any other side other than the front. If you like doing 3D drawings, I do have another video on my channel for how to do a 3D Roblox self portrait. If that makes you a little nervous, then this might be a good one to start with. As you guys know, or I mentioned before, I really don't know much about Roblox, but I like that the characters are so customizable and I thought it'd be kind of fun to make a self-portrait of one. So make sure you have your pencil and your eraser. And if you have something that you can use to make straight lines, like a ruler, the edge of a notebook, pencil, box, that would be great. And then we can get started. The best way to start with your two-dimensional Roblox self-portrait is to make a rectangle for the body and the legs. So I'm gonna go right here in the middle and I'm going to make a rectangle that goes close to the bottom of my paper. Now I'm not using a ruler, but if you're kind of into the idea of it looking really like the characters, you might wanna use a ruler to make those straight lines. And then you want to do, not in the middle, but a little bit above the middle, do a line straight across. You want this top part to look like a square. So again, if you put it in the middle, that's too far. You want this part to be bigger and this to be a bit smaller. Then on each side of the square, you're going to make a rectangle. So do a little line that goes out, straight up and down, and it stops right where this line is and connects back over. So the rectangle is the same height as this. So do the same thing on the other side. Perfect. And then right down the middle, you're gonna do a line here for the legs. Now maybe if you want your character wearing a skirt, you're gonna do like a line here first and then the legs, but we'll worry about that later. And then for the head. So right in the middle is where the head's gonna go, obviously, <laughs> but I'm gonna do a little curved line kind of on each side of the head and then a line straight up and down and then a curved line on each side again and a line straight across. The one other thing I'll do that will probably be the same for everybody is the eyes and mouth. So the eyes are like two little ovals that are closer to the top and the smile is a little closer to the bottom. So now here is my super basic character. There's not a whole lot to it to show that it's me. So then what you wanna do at this point is think about what can you add to make it look more like you. I'm gonna make mine look like the outfit I'm wearing today. So I think about my shirt first. My shirt has a little collar and it's buttoned. So I'm gonna do a letter V and a line straight up and down for like the two sides of my shirt. I'm also gonna do this little shape here for like the neckline of the shirt. I like to go one piece of clothing at a time so I can add more details. Then some buttons. And for the sleeves, if they're short sleeves, you draw it up high. Mine are long sleeves, so I'm just gonna draw a little line here and this would be the hand at the bottom. And an extra line for the cuff and a button. I'm gonna add patterns to my shirt too. So since it's like a checkerboard, I'm gonna do lines straight up and down and straight across. But I'm gonna do that a little later because I just wanna do that with Sharpie so I don't have to go over. Oh, I also have a little undershirt, so I'm gonna do a curved line there. For the feet down here, you wanna go a little bit above the bottom and have a line that goes across. Maybe you wanna do another line down here to show the soles of the shoes. If you wanna do a bow, you can do two little curved lines like that and two straight lines at the bottom. I did some rips in my jeans, so I did some zigzag lines. And then the hair on mine, I'm gonna do some wavy lines that go down on each side and a little line for the scrunchie, and then the bun. Whoa, it's big on this one. I guess my hair grew on this drawing. All right, 
And now I'm almost ready to do my outlines in Sharpie and do my pattern on the shirt but I'm gonna do my bubble letters at the bottom. I think it's fun to do your name in bubble letters because the Roblox logo also has bubble letters. So a really simple way to do that is to just write your name regular. Make sure you have the letters spaced out from each other. If they're too close, it's a little tricky for the next step. And then what you can do is trace around those letters. So I'm gonna grab my Sharpie to do this part and show you. But you can just trace around like that. So I'm gonna do that for each letter and just take my time. So like that. I have a couple of videos on my channel about making bubble letters. So if you wanna learn more, you can find those. I'll put the links in the description. And now I'm just gonna trace over all the lines that I want to show. So like the head, how it's showing through the hair, I'm not gonna trace this line. That's something I'm going to erase later. Now I'm gonna add those stripes for my plaid. So if you happen to be doing the same pattern, you just do lines going straight up and down and straight across. Because I don't want the arms to kind of blend into the body, I'm gonna make the stripes on the arms way closer together just so that they look a little bit different from the body. So you might wanna think about that if you're afraid of your patterns kind of looking all the same, but see now you can tell them apart a little bit better. And there we go, I'm all done with my self portrait. Of course I could maybe add a background behind my person or add a place, but of course the last step is to erase your pencil lines that you don't want and then color it and it will look something like this. And this is how mine looks when it's all colored in. So I did my rainbow letters, I colored it in to match me and I added all the different colors in my hair and I thought it was a lot of fun. So go ahead adding your patterns and designs to try to make it look like you and just think about what it is you would like yours to look like. I hope you guys had fun making your two dimensional Roblox self portrait. I would love to see how yours turned out. And I thought it was pretty fun, even though I don't understand Roblox. I think the characters are pretty cool looking. And I'll see you guys next time for our next drawing video. Bye!